Welcome to Men Are So Smart, the Fen episode. This is Fen Mail Friday and your correspondence with us. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And we're going to jump right into it today um, uh, from time to time. Uh, we do an episode on Fen on Friday and get lots and lots of comments. <laughs> and, I, and I chuckle because I know Ronnie has the first one. Ronnie, who's the first one from today? Well... I have one here from Jimmy Fast. Who? Jimmy Fast. Jimmy Fast. It seems... That sounds familiar, I doesn't it? I know that name. I think hmm. he's commented on one or two episodes before. Hi, hey, Jimmy. Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy says... Uh -huh. I'm going to say this carefully. Okay. One smart fella, he felt smart. Okay. Two smart fellas, they both felt smart. Three smart fellas... They all felt smart. They all what, Ronnie? <laughs> they all felt smart. Okay. And then I reply, me? <laughs> I smelled fart. Yeah, I think you did, Ron. <laughs> Here's one from Give Me Title to the Gold. <laughs> and Give Me says, I enjoy watching your shows. You guys don't beat around the bush, and you both seem like straight shooters. I know you said you don't do BOTG, but... If you guys ever make it out to a Fen event and I'm there, we are definitely grabbing a beer. Hey, let me address this. Look, we so appreciate the folks that watch this show. And you know, if there was a goal, this is not one that we clearly stated, but if there was a goal, we would want to, with you folks that are commenters and so creative, we would love nothing more than to sit down at a barbecue and just talk it out with you guys. That would be pretty fun. I think it would be awesome. I don't see us uh, attending a Fenbury. I, I, I just don't see that as being in the cards for us, Ronnie. Not at this point. Okay. We haven't even read the book yet. Oh, you know, we should address that before we get back. Yep. We are in the process of both reading the book right now. I am just about done. And Ronnie will get that book for me, I would say, probably tomorrow. Uh, and, and then he will be on it. And we are very optimistic that we will have much more insight um, from us uh, after we have read the book. And we want to thank Meh, M-E-H, Meh, yes. for sending us a book. Big shout out. Uh, and um, I'm enjoying the hell out of it. I really am. I know in the beginning... I may have said some things about Fenn's writing ability, um, but you know what? I, I have enjoyed his stories, and I feel a lot more insight, and we will begin to share some of those from the book as Ronnie finishes, um, and he's done too. Yep. All right. uh, so let me find here. Uh, what is it? Marshall uh, George says, oh, yeah. words are hard. <laughs> have a good weekend, guys. Ronnie says, what'd you say? Hooked on phonics. Oh, yeah. It worked for me. <laughs> Except I spelled every word wrong. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> uh, Mark Connor says, mm -hmm. I would love to tell you what and where where Warm Waters Halt is, but you would go straight to it without looking for it. If you have the correct WWWH, you would then have the chest. People have the WWH in the area, but it's the wrong WWWH. Very soon, guys, and if I tell anyone, it will be you guys. That's what we're hoping. Well, yeah. I, my my only comment was, I'm more concerned was, where the warm pee halts. <laughs> that, way I, that way I know when to flush. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't halt when you think it will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that's TMI. Uh, JT, uh, why did I take the glasses off? JT says, I'm willing to sell anybody the location to where Fenn hit the chest for $1,000. Well, that seems pretty reasonable. Uh, Sledneck jumps in and says, but JT, you consistently claim you found it already. Why do you need the money? <laughs> JT says, Sledneck, I never outright claimed I found it. I only said it's been found. Don't you want to know where? Hmm. Mm. Sledneck says, don't be influenced by those who say they know. Don't. All right. Yep. 
uh, man in the park, and this was just yesterday, his comment. Okay. There are a lot more than, because we made a comment, uh, he says there's a lot more than 10% that are greedy. People are greedy in general. It's just that the word greedy scares people. And so they say, I'm not greedy. Okay, and you're a liar. <laughs> Many people have a hard time being honest with themselves. They refuse to believe they are one of those horrible words that are used to describe people of a certain sin. Uh, in fact, most hate the fact that they are that there are such a sin and judge who will be determining their final domain for eternity. So backing up, most people argue if they are so-called greedy or anything of the like. Uh, I said greed is the second deadly sin that we learned about in Bible school. Unfortunately, pride is also on the list. But I tend to think that pride is actually kind of important. Uh, I'm, in fact, I'm starting a petition to have pride removed from the list of seven, seven deadly sins. Pride is the cousin of the devil. Oh, oh, oh of, the, of the devil. Bobby. Who said that? <laughs> uh, okay, so we're talking about how Fenn might have written the poem differently had he been terminally ill, and I believe that he did, and then changed the poem. Boots on the Dust, who's new to our show, says, I have found two different occasions where he talks about the original poem, and he remembers it differently both times. But basically, leave my bones and go in peace was the idea. That being said, and the fact that he said recently to go back in the box... This box isn't just sitting out in the open. He said, it's not in a grizzly cave or mine, but does that rule out all caves or caverns? One of the original clues he slipped out was to take a sandwich in a flashlight. We've talked about this several times. Yeah. And uh, one of the thoughts is, well, maybe you need to look for this at night in order to see the blaze. I don't think that's the case. I think we're onto something here. You need that flashlight for a reason. What is it? Well... It's probably an 80-year-old man is not going to be going in there at 11.30 at night. Right. So that would almost make me want to lean towards some sort of a cavern. Yeah. Uh, where perhaps maybe it's a little treacherous to get to the point where the chest might be. Or maybe a crevasse. Uh, a crevasse. I like that word. Boots on the Dust said it might not be in a cave, but I believe that it is just not sitting by the side of the road somewhere. No. It has to be a really good spot to rest in peace. Yeah. I agree. Uh, this one, we had a little fun. Uh, Ken Blythe. God bless the love squirrel. Seems to have his priorities in place. <laughs> just not his soul. Uh, off topic, Lou. Gotta love the NHL St. Louis Blues for kicking Bean Town's ass. Anybody that does kick that town's butt is my buddy. Yep. Uh, he goes on to say, I think four should drop you guys a line. We'd appreciate that. Mm -hmm. uh, just be careful. There's no hook on the end. Ronnie, are you a fender bender? I was wearing a fender shirt. Oh, that's right. Yeah. For the uh, last one. Uh, and you, did you boys see who won the NBA last night? Got to mention it because it may never happen again. So, yes, uh, we're actually in Sacramento, Sacramento County. So, Sacramento Kings are kind of our hometown team. But before we had the Kings, most of us in this part of California were Golden, were, you know, Warriors fans. Mm -hmm. And I still, once the Kings are out of the playoffs, and they're almost always out of the playoffs, I tend to follow Golden State. And yes, them Toronto Raptors, I got to give them credit. They, uh, they took it to the Warriors. Um, I told, uh, I replied back, I watched the whole game last night. It was close. But they just couldn't keep up. Props to the North. Uh, Magnetic Universe then wanted to know Mass. How did you? Uh, how did you fellas end up becoming partners? Uh, I said Lou and I met in high school. I was playing in a couple different bands at the time, and Lou recruited me to join his band for an upcoming talent show. We hit it off right away, and we've been close friends ever since. Yeah, we uh, we both had really cool cars. Yep. Uh, we both played guitar. Yep. Um, it, it was, I don't know, I guess it was just fate, Ronnie, that yeah. you and I met. I yep. mean, actually, Ronnie's two years older than I am, too, so we were in different classes in high school. You know what we should do, and we had done it very early on when we started the show, was we kind of talked about some of our history. Maybe 
so that people don't have to go back to episodes two and three, or right. one and two. Yeah. Maybe we could uh, kind of breach that subject again a little bit. On another episode? Yeah, a different episode. Okay, yeah, you got that. Uh, we'll, we'll be glad to do that. Uh, Copper Dan, I like this one. He says, I think it would be awesome if you actually got Forrest to come on the show. Oh, the other Fen YouTube shows out there would freak the hell out. <laughs> And that would make me smile even more. <laughs> so go make it happen. Guys are so smart, and Forrest Fenn sit down to have a beer to get together and discuss the hunt. Now, Ronnie, you picked up on something in that uh, particular email that I got. He referred, Copper Dan refers to us as guys are so smart. Oh, yeah. That can't work. Which would make the show gas. Instead G of mass. Yeah, so it would be G-A-S-S. -S. I don't think we can do that, Copper Dan. We have plenty of that. Oh, we do. But it just... Up yeah. to here. <laughs> we got gas for days. <laughs> so it's men are so smart, not yeah. guys. Yeah, guys are so... That's a whole different show. It is. Gas. We don't need that. Yep. All right, so there you have it. That will take care of our Forest Fan comments for this week. Uh, we encourage you to comment below. We enjoy them, and we reply to each and every one. As I've said before, some of them, we may not have something to say, but we read it, so we like it. Even if we don't really like it, oh, we, we like it to let you know. Just remember this, though, that the YouTube in general mm -hmm. picks up on certain words. Oh, right, right. And your comment won't even show up here. Yeah, it goes if into... If you use one of those... Uh, words that George Carlin says you can't use. Well, the, the, you know what? As the administrator, there are certain words I can pick out that will block somebody's comment. And one is the F word and the other is the C word. Other than that, you're pretty much limitless. But if it's in bad taste, it's probably going to go away. Right. I did want to mention, I'm looking at this screen right now in our uh, analytics. And, <clears throat> and for comments, what's available is public, where everyone's comment goes to. Held for review, which is something that um, that YouTube does, uh, not us. Right. And then we have the ability to go look at that comment. In fact, you know what, Ronnie? The other night I texted you because I wasn't sh Remember, I wasn't yes. sure what to do with one of the comments, right, whether right, I right. should block it or not. Yep. Uh, so you know what? It's not just me going, man, harumph, harumph. <laughs> It's not, I don't do that. Well, it was a little bit of a rant. Okay, maybe. I thought. Yeah. The, yeah. Oh, the, the, no, no, not on your part. Yeah, the, the comment. comment. The right. comment was a little bit of a rant. Yeah, and it just doesn't seem relevant. It, it really didn't. I didn't see any place for it in there, and it was kind of he threw his ex under the bus. Yeah, a bit. Like, and we don't need that. Nah, nobody cares about nah, that. Nah, so. it's an individual. So, right. yes. Did I block that person? No. Don't. No. Did I delete that comment? Yes. I'll be honest. I did. Uh, and that can happen. But I will tell you, in the last week, we have not had one held for review, right. nor have we had one likely spam. And what that tells me is the people that watch this show know the rules for it. They're, we don't, they're veterans. They're oh, YouTube veterans. We don't want to throw out a bunch of rules. I mean, nobody no. wants that. We just want to have a fun page with creative people who love to think outside the box and be funny and, and enjoy the heck out of us because we enjoy being with each other. We've done this for over two years. And you know, the commitment that we've made, Ronnie, every Saturday, yeah. uh, at, right after my radio show, I drive out here to your house, which is a haul. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. It's a haul, especially when it comes from the radio station. Right. And uh, we come in here and we record for three or four hours. Uh, and then it doesn't end there. There's more to it than that oh. as well. So uh, what it, it ends for me there. Yeah, well, for the okay. most part, right. You've got a lot yeah. of work for each episode. It's true. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? When we get comments like this, it makes it all worthwhile to me, Ronnie. Yep. Um, yep. It doesn't make up for the time that I lose with my family on Sunday. But I will say this: just a little over two years ago, uh, I went through cancer, and I did not want to let it beat me. Um, up front, I'll tell you, I had my prostate removed. And to some men, that might be a signal that it's the end. Not in terms of life, but in terms of manhood, if you will. But you know what? I was bound 
and determined to take on this project from start to finish and we are here where we are today yeah. and it's been an amazing trip and if I might say this was my idea to do this and I thought who better to do it than with my best friend and why isn't he here right now because he couldn't make it the last <laughs> two years <laughs> two years I've been stuck with you Corvette boy <laughs> and I wouldn't have it any other way I'll be honest <laughs> All right, so that's going to do it for us. Uh, we got to get out of here. Yeah, you've seen our email addresses. You know our website. You've seen when our show is on. Our work is done here. Thank God. That's all you got? Yeah, I, I got nothing. I got nothing. All right, then in that case, you know what we'll do? We'll say goodbye and we'll play the music. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.